District 59's mission is to prepare students to be successful for life. That means something a little different for students in the ELS classrooms than it means for their typically developing peers. David, what would you like to eat? I want to eat cereal. I want to eat cereal. We won the game. I think one of the most important developments in the infusion of technology into our ELS classrooms is that until maybe six or eight years ago, much of the tech use involved devices that were specifically chosen and designated for a specific student. The last few years has brought us a proliferation of consumer-friendly technology that runs on tablets, that runs on a Chromebook, so that the tech that the kids are using looks like what all their peers use. One of the ways we use technology is the students uh, videotape or take pictures of things they do over the weekend. And they use the pictures and the videos as conversation uh, starters, you know, to give them ideas of what they did over the weekend. What? Just the conversations that the students are beginning to have with one another, and we also see it happening outside as well. You know, having the students run up to someone else saying, what'd you do over the weekend? Um, is awesome and going up to other teachers and you know it's really neat to see the students interact with one another. Let's walk. Walk make sure you're in step. There we go. I'm it. I think what I is it. And then let's get some bricks. <laughs> I like that rhyme. That's like your own braille rap song. Did you make up your own braille rap song? <laughs> Last spring, we spent some time with the entire ELS staff talking about what successful for life means for our students. You know, think about how you would answer this question if you were a mom, one of the kids in the program. Then we got answers like this. I want my kids to know what they enjoy doing and know how to get that stuff. I want my kids to have friends. I want my kids to have a job that they like. I want my kids to be able to solve problems when they have them and to know where to go if they need help. We all need that. Uh, it's no different for the students who are coming through the ELS program. I would describe where we are now in terms of using technology in the ELS classrooms as just the starting point. Where I would love to see technology use go for our students who have disabilities is that we make much richer use of what's commercially available and that we blur the line between technology use for people with disabilities and the general population.